to take a moment and empty out, to give yourself permission to be where exactly where you are doing exactly what you're doing. Let go of any other agendas you might have. Feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the left and load up your right quad. You're sinking into the right leg, turn to the right. Pick up the left heel and step out about a hip width. Feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, spiral down to the right and turn back to center. So let's just go over that three pillars meditation as a way of establishing our energetic connection to the earth and sky, to feel the big chi and to feel the energetic coherence, central equilibrium and unkink the hoses. Feel the balls of your feet. And allow your body to relax and just kind of settle in as if your feet are sand and they're just spreading out and just dumping down and just creating this pile of sand there and you're just sinking down into that. Knees are unlocked. But continue to sink to get very sung. Everything just releasing down but we're going to create a pole in opposition here by reaching with the crown of the head without pushing away from the earth. So we're continuing to sink. Everything below the waist is sinking down and reach up with the crown of the head and feel that pulling up, lengthening the spine. Tuck in the chin and open the jade pillow gate at the base of the skull. Notice that immediately your hands start to fill up just by opening up the jade pillow gate. Because when we do that, we are activating the jingshan, the spirit of vitality. So here we are, we're filling up. The yin chi of the earth rising the Yang Chi of the heavens descending, plugging into the big Chi. Relax your lower back and allow your coccyx to drop, your tailbone. When you do that, that levels out your pelvis, your pelvic bowl levels out and releases tension in your lower back. Continue to feel your feet sinking into the earth. Continue to feel your, the crown reaching up, activating the knee wand. Reach with the clavicular notch, your, right there at the base of your neck, your throat. Feel that lifting up and opening your shoulders, opening your chest, feeling that expansion. Reach with your elbows. Feel that. Feel them opening your shoulder joints as you do that. And feel your hands filling up with chi as you do that. Chi is the insubstantial aspect, and there's also the substantial aspect as they fill up also with, with blood as you increase your, the circulation in your hands just by bringing your awareness there. Spiral down to the left, release your quad, spiral down to the right. Your 
releasing the qua, getting very sung qua. You're sitting down into your legs, all the while reaching out for the crown. Reach with your elbows, feel your index fingers, and feel the energetic coherence throughout the whole system. Activating the tensegrity of the whole system, of your connective tissue system. Now feel your elbows, reach out slightly with your right elbow and feel that. Just feel the effect that that has at a very subtle level. Notice the changes that occur at, the, at an insubstantial, at an energetic level in your body when you do that. Now, without letting go of that, Reach out with your left elbow and feel them reaching in opposite directions and feel the enhanced chi flow in your hands as you do that. Point with your right index finger, feel your right elbow, reach with your right wrist, extend that upward, reach out with the fingers. So that's a, a yang extension. Now feel your left elbow, your left wrist, and Reach down with the fingers on your left hand. So we're doing both at the same time. You feel the fingers of your right hand, feel the fingers of your left hand. And notice those poles in opposition. Feel the crown of your head, feel your, the balls of your feet. Feel those poles in opposition. And feel your whole body mind being filled up with chi as you do this. Now feel the index finger of your left hand, feel your left elbow, and reach up with your left wrist. And as you do that, simultaneously reach down with your right elbow, your right wrist, and feel both of those at the same time. So the left hand is now becoming yang, the right hand is becoming yin. So we're having those poles in opposition and we're creating another flow. Feel the index finger of your right hand, your right wrist, right elbow, reach with that. Left elbow, left wrist coming down. Feel those two together. And notice how that they are part of one system. And there's a flow happening between them. And that's what we're going to do with the, with the ward off posture, a simplified ward off posture. We want to feel that yang expansion, but we also want to feel the yin, which is moving in the opposite direction and creating a effortless power just by doing that. So bring your right hand down, elbow, wrist. So feel the ball of the right foot. Set the right knee, spiral down to the right, and turn, pivot on the left heel. So you're turning to the left. 
I'll feel the ball of the left foot. Push your left knee out, set that. And feel yourself sinking down in. So you're releasing down, sinking down in. Reach with that left elbow. And then left wrist. Rotate the forearm and turn. As you do that, reach down with the right hand. So as you're extending out with the left arm, you're reaching down with the left or with the right hand. Feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, spiral down to the left and sink into that. Step out a little bit with the right foot. Feel the ball of the right foot, push your right knee out. Set that. Use your claw spiral down to the left. Loading up the right claw. And then reach with your right elbow. Reach with your left elbow. Feel both shoulder joints opening up as you do that. And then as you turn your body, you're reaching with the wrist. Notice that the Fingers are relaxed. I'm pulling down with my left hand. I'm pulling back with my left elbow, my left wrist, my left hand, and coming out and reaching out. So the left hand is pulling back. The right hand is reaching forward. Feel those poles in opposition and feel the circuit that's being generated. You're reaching with both elbows so much so that you feel the, the space between your shoulder blades. Feel the connection there. Feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the right. Drop your left hand. Pivot on your left heel. Feel the ball of the left foot. Push your left knee out, set the left knee, spiral down to the right. So you're loading up the left claw. Feel both elbows. They're reaching in opposite directions and feel the energy that's being generated by that. So feel the yin side here. I want to particularly feel the, the negative pole on this. As your left arm comes up, feel the wrist, feel your yin hand, feel the left, right elbow reaching down, right wrist and turn, reaching down with the right hand and feeding the left hand with those poles in opposition. Feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, spiral down to the left. Pivot on your right heel. Feel the ball, set the knee, spiral down to the left. Reach with both elbows. So we're doing this like a classic ward off right here. So the rotate forearm, wrist, reaching with the right wrist, pulling back with the left elbow. Feel the yin hand, feel the yin arm. Feel the both shoulder joints opening. The muscles are very relaxed, even though there is extension. So there's a tensegrity without muscular tension. So we're gonna reverse it this time. We're gonna spiral down. We're gonna do like a mirror image kind of thing. Pivot on your left heel. Left ball, set the left knee, spiral down to the right. And this time we're going to reach with both elbows. Feel that, the yin, feel the yang, feel the wrist and turn. This time the right hand stays up like, like we do with the, with the other one. And we turn, we're pulling back with the right elbow, reaching out with the left forearm.
So you can feel there's a, even though there's space between the hands, you can feel the the field that you're that's being generated by those poles in opposition. You can generate quite a bit of of chi, and and it can become quite palpable if you work at it. So feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee spiral down to the left. Pivot on the right heel, right ball, set the right knee spiral down to the left. Reach with both elbows. Reach with the wrist. Pulling away, and this time the left hand comes down. And reach with the right forearm, the right wrist. Opening, reaching with the elbows, reaching with the wrist, reaching with the fingers, reaching with the crown of your head. Spiral down to the right, pivot on your left heel. Left ball, set the left knee, spiral down to the right. Reach with both elbows. Wrist and turn. Feel those poles in opposition. Now down to the left, pivot. Right ball, set the right knee, reach with the elbows, open the shoulder joints, reach with the wrists and turn. Uh, this one, we're gonna come down on this like that. Feel that extension. Feel the yin. Feel how the yin complements the yang and empowers it. Right ball, set the right knee, spiral down. Pivot. Left ball, set the left knee, spiral down to the right. Reach with the elbows, reach with the wrists, and turn. And just hold that for a moment. Hands come down, turn, step in. Deep breath. Disappear the chi. Feel into the stillness. Just take that in for a minute. 